Hey guys, Tim here from Tim Kip Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing our first tutorial on jQuery. Basically, jQuery is a new, well, basically right here it says a new kind of JavaScript library. Basically, you can uh, run a whole bunch of JavaScript code easily, and there's a bunch of new animations you can do, and it's pretty po pretty powerful. I am starting to use a lot of jQuery on my website uh, as well, and it's just pretty interesting. So the first thing you need to do when you're going to start using jQuery is you need to download um, the jQuery library. All you have to do is go to jQuery.com that's j-q-u-e-r-y.com or just Google search jQuery and this will be the first thing that pops up. And right over here uh, you can either go to download or you can go right here where it says grab the latest version and right where it says choose your compression level you have two choices production or development and as you can see the file sizes are pretty drastic one is only 31 kilobytes and the other one is uh, 229 kilobytes basically one's the minified version of it which is a light version or you have the uncompressed code which is development so I'm just going to choose development and go ahead and click download and you're gonna be shown this page um, basically this is your library right here so we're gonna hit control A or we're gonna right click and oops right click ah, I'm sorry control A or select all within the edit menu if you have one so we're gonna select all of it we're gonna copy it either by hitting control C or right clicking click copy and I'm using uh, notepad plus plus so over here I have a new file open. I'm just going to paste all of that code that was on that page right there. Now I'm not even going to edit it. Just make sure you save it. And we're going to save it into our directory. I've created a directory in my tutorials folder for jQuery implementation. And we're going to save this as jQuery.js. And hit save. And as you can see it says jQuery.js. Okay. Now that we have that saved, let me just show you the file structure. Go to my jQuery implementation folder. All we have is our jQuery right here. Nothing else. So back over here in Notepad++, we're going to create a new file by hitting Control N or just going up to File New. And we're just going to create a simple HTML document. So I'm going to go over here to my site real quick just because I don't feel like typing it all out. Uh, TimKipTutorials.com and in the text tutorials under study HTML I'm just going to say create your first HTML document and I'm just going to copy and paste this code right here because it has the correct doc type and all that kind of stuff with the title and the head section just like that and paste that in there and we're going to go ahead and save it get back to my folder here I don't know why it keeps doing that and we're just going to name this index.html if you're running a PHP server, you can just name it .php. If you're going to handle PHP um, requests and all that stuff, but just for now, I'm just going to keep it simple .html. Okay, and we're going to name the title jQuery implementation. For some reason, just like that. And if we go to our browser and we refresh the folder that I have, it's this is my first web page jQuery implementation so what we're gonna do is in our head section here we need to add our uh, or jQuery library so script type is equal to text over JavaScript and then our source is equal to now this is where you want to put your jQuery.js close it off close off your script tag Basically, what this is, it's going to say, I want to load the jQuery.js file with this in the same directory as our index page. So as you can see here, we have our index and our jQuery, so we don't need to do anything else. If you had it within a folder, you would just say folder slash that. So if you're not sure how to do file structures, um, there's many tutorials out there for that. So for, for our tutorial, jQuery.js is in the local directory, so we're going to use that. And just for starters, we're going to script type equals text over JavaScript scroll down a couple lines end it off and we're just gonna say um, actually we're gonna 
start coding out some j uh, jQuery. So first thing you need to do is put a dollar sign and left parentheses. Inside there you write document, close your parentheses, one period, ready, and then another parentheses, and then type the word function, and just like a regular function, two open and close parentheses. Close off your, oops, first you need to make the function, so just a curly brace there, and a right curly brace, uh, right parentheses, and then finish off with a semicolon. So all of your code is going to go inside of these two curly braces. So basically what this means is when the document is ready, it's going to load in any type of functions or anything that's inside of here. So um, for testing this out, we're just going to say alert, two parentheses, semicolon inside there, and two quotes, we're just going to say hello save that so basically what this is going to do when the page loads the first thing it's going to do is it's going to alert with hello so we're going to know if jQuery has been installed correctly because if it doesn't this will not run and you'll get an error so go here refresh again and like I said if it's not installed correctly it's not going to do it so I have an error hold on just one second okay guys I'm retarded and I realize what I did I forgot to spell JavaScript right so put an A in there save your file again go back here and refresh and as you can see the first thing when it refreshes it says hello so we're going to close that out we know everything is installed correctly and we're gonna just we're gonna use a little bit of jQuery to just show you that how this works a little bit so first thing I want to do down here in my HTML we're just gonna create a link we're just gonna say a href equals we're just gonna say dollar sign for now and we're just going to say click here for jQuery stuff. We're just going to say that. End your link, save it, and refresh your page. And you notice it doesn't alert anymore because I took the alert off. And now it says click here for jQuery stuff. And right now it does not go anywhere. So back up here in our uh, JavaScript code, we're going to type in dollar sign, parentheses, well, just like that, inside those parentheses, we're going to put two sev uh, quotations. Basically, inside of these quotations, you can have any type of thing. You can specify an element, which in this case, we're going to specify a link, which would just be A. So it will specify, or this effect will be applied to every link element or A tag element that is inside of your body tag. You could also do an ID, sort of like CSS, where you can just say pound sign ID. So if our paragraph tag had an ID equal to ID, it would specify that. Or if you had a class equal to, just say, red, you could specify a class in your code by just putting a, a period, and then we'll say red. So that's how you could specify that. So classes are periods, pound signs are IDs, or you can specify an individual element. Um, in this case, I'm going to be specifying this link, which is an A. So, and we're going to go when you click it, we're just going to say click, left parentheses, function, and inside there, we're going to open and close uh, parentheses, a left curly bracket, right curly bracket, and then we're going to finish off our right parentheses, which we opened here, and then finish it with a semicolon. So anything that inside of our function that we want to happen when it clicks, we're going to do inside there. So we're just going to go here and refresh again, save your file, make sure we don't have any errors. Okay. And what are we going to do? We're just let's just alert again. Just simple. Open and close there. Semicolon inside of there. Two uh, double quotes. And we're going to say you have clicked the jQuery link. Just do that. So if everything's saved correctly, go back here, refresh the page. So when we click on this link, we should get an alert box that says you have clicked the jQuery link. Click it, and it says you have clicked the jQuery link. So as you can see. Um, there's many features and all that kind of good stuff that you can do with jQuery. This is just a simple example uh, handling a click action on a, a, a link. So um, that's how you install it and implement it into your site and more tutorials to come. Thank you. And also check out our website, or my website I should say, timkiptutorials.com. We have more uh, tutorials listed here text tutorials, video tutorials, and we also have uh, forums right here. If you have problems or questions or anything about that, go feel free to create an account and uh, 
post in there if you have any questions. So basically when you come in, if you need to register, just click here and choose your username, password, uh, verify you put in your email, do a little bit of math right here, register your account, and you're good to go. So hope to see you and hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.